Hey guys, welcome to Herding Little Cows to the Glory of God. We are in the car. Everybody's behind me. And Josiah's here beside me. And I got a baby down here in the car seat. So anyway, um, and I'm not driving. Naomi's driving, so everyone's safe here. <laughs> um, I was doing this video. I don't know when you're going to see it. It's probably going to be a couple weeks after I make it. But I have had people ask me how we save money on groceries and how we... Um, are able to go out and do all of these things kind of last minute because my husband um, can be kind of sporadic sometimes. So this trip is not, yeah, <laughs> this trip is not unplanned, but sometimes Mark is just like, hey, let's go to the beach and we do that. So how we save money on groceries for days like today is we pack snacky lunches. And so it's not really a cohesive meal, but it's got parts and pieces for every meal. So I just kind of look through the house and find things that are able to go with us. So um, some of the things that we have packed for today is some sliced cheese. Normally I would slice it off a block we have, but two things. We ran out of the cheese because we haven't been to Sam's Club for a while. So the cheese we typically buy, we haven't bought recently. And we went to a different store the other day to pick up the sale stuff. We were headed out for a picnic that day and that, say, that store also had a sale on sliced cheese. So I bought the sliced cheese that was there, which ended up being the same, about the same price as the cheese that we normally buy anyway, because of the sale. So I packed sliced cheese. Um, I packed pepperonis that were in the freezer. When we go to Sam's Club, um, our Sam's Club is at least an hour away, um, but we don't usually go to that city. Um, the cities that we go to that have Sam's Clubs are either like an hour and 45 minutes away or two hours away. So we don't get there very often. It's when we go for specific appointments to those towns. And so we went to Sam's Club, I don't know, six weeks ago, probably. It was quite a while ago we went to Sam's Club last. But when we go to Sam's Club, I tend to pick up things that are going to be good for the car, like good picnic-y type foods. So one of the things I pick up is pepperonis. You can get the big packages that are a couple of pounds. There's two separate packages together, like cooked together. You guys got to look at the gas price here. Um, we're looking at gas prices on the way. So then on our way back, we can get gas. But anyway, um, we get, yeah, that's another way to save money on the trip. Look at the gas stations. If you're going one route and then back that same route, look at the gas stations and then pick your gas on the way back. The gas buddy app. You can do what? You can use the Gas Buddy app where you can like map out what you need, gas, diesel, cash credit, all that kind of stuff, and you can check prices before you get there. Yes. We happen to be going a route that we know really well, and we drive this one a lot, so we know what to look for. So, so far, 314 is our lowest. Right. So we are headed to Fort Knox today. We're making another video about that, but this route is the same route we take to go visit Mark's parents, so we know where the gas stations are along the way. So anyway, I buy those pepperonis and as soon as we get home, I throw them in the freezer and those are easy to pull out. I just put some in a plastic bag and put it in our cooler bag to take with us. Um, also, if we go, what's wrong? Can you hand him something that he wants? Okay, so also um, another thing we do is we buy string cheese when we go to Sam's Club. Um, the string cheese there, the Frigo, whatever it's called. Cheese heads, um, that brand, it's in a green bag. Um, it's really good, and that's the best price we can find. And I find the price is very similar to block cheese, but the string cheese is all um, portioned out and it's easy to grab. So, anyway, you can buy those and you can throw them in the freezer just how they are. Take the entire bag, throw it in the freezer, and then when you're ready to go out on a trip like this, you just pull those cheeses out. Again, we haven't been to Sam's Club for a while, so I have run out of those. I need to get more. But we are headed on a trip shortly, um, in a few weeks, to go see Virginia and Wayland in Tennessee. Oh, here, I've got a water on my lap. And baby justice. And baby justice. And a bunch of other people. And yeah, we're gonna see a bunch of people. So when we go, I don't want to leave a bunch of freezer stuff um, in case power outages or anything like that. Can you help him? Oh, it was him. <laughs> I gave water to the wrong person. No, no, both I are getting water. water. Oh, they're both getting water. Um, so the, you can throw those directly in the freezer. I will be getting more of those and we will stock our freezer with stuff before winter, but after our trip back, like after we come back from our trip to Tennessee, just because if power went out, I don't want my mom who will be at our house to have to worry about that. 
<laughs> just so you don't think my house is left totally open while we're gone and I'm telling you that we're gonna be gone. Um, we're stopped at stoplight. So those cheeses are easy to grab. Another thing that's an easy protein to take um, and good fats is nuts. So we keep nuts in the house. Um, we tend to get almonds because I think the most people in the house like the almonds and for the price, they're the cheapest. Um, for the ones people like. We do do walnuts sometimes, but I have some people in the house that are not fans of walnuts. Um, so we brought a bag of those today. Um, we usually keep fruits and vegetables in the house, um, depending on the time of year, different fruits and vegetables. So right now, um, I could have cut up cabbage. Our family will just eat cabbage, um, just slice it um, and eat it. Um, Mark prefers the inner leaves the inner parts um, because they're easier for him to eat. If you don't know, Mark has only a couple teeth on the bottom, but those tend to be spicier. The littler kids tend to like the outside leafy parts because they're not as spicy if you have a spicy Those cabbage. Spicy. No, not your teeth, the cabbage. The cabbage is spicy. Yeah, we also have peppers in the house, like red peppers in the house that we could have cut up and brought, um, but I didn't bring those. We did wash some carrots and throw those in the bag. Um, that's I'm trying to tell you easy things to put there. So with carrots, um, you just pack the, like make sure, like wash them if that's what you're gonna do, but wash them and put them in a bag. These are nice organic carrots. So I'm not worried about peeling them or anything. Not that I peel my carrots anyway, but just, just so you know, I'm feeding my kids healthy food today. Um, so if you take the carrot, when you get to the place, you bite off the end and then they can eat the carrot. I don't bite off the end for my big people. I'm not like, here, Naomi, here's your carrot. I bit your end off. Um, but you can eat those without having to do prep work for them. Um, other things that we have packed, we bought some apples the other day. You hear Mark's camera going on because he's doing yeah. video footage for another part, another video we're doing. Um, we yeah. went to the store the other day and they had that store that had the sales. They had apples for 99 cents a pound. So we bought apples. So we packed an apple for every person. What'd you guys find? A catamaran. And no Ooh. joy ducks. So here we are. We're in a pretty, this is the town of Belfast, which is somewhat near us. We have to drive through here to get to where we're going. Um, so we packed the carrots, we packed the apples, just put a whole apple in the bag per person. We also have been known to take, like if we're trying to get out the door quickly to go somewhere, we just take a cutting board and we have a knife that has like a sheath that goes on it. And so we will take that in the car and then we can just cut up the vegetables or fruit when we get to the place. Um, some other things we packed today, um, we packed some, we had an open bag of pretzels in the cupboard that Abigail found the other day. Um, she had just rebagged it yesterday because she found it had a tear in it. So we packed that small portion of pretzels that we had when I went to that store the other day. Um, hummus was on sale. I knew we were going to be traveling this weekend. So we got the hummus, um, and I bought a bag of tortilla chips. The hummus was on sale, the tortilla chips were not. And I think the tortilla chips were the only thing I bought at that store that was not sale price. Um, when you go to the store, those stores try to get you in by saying, hey, the meat is on sale. That's what I went in for. The meat is on sale, so you should just do your weekly shopping here. But if you do your weekly shopping there, it's gonna cost more money. So instead, you go in and you buy just the sale items. I did buy the chips because I wasn't gonna be going to the store yeah. again before. Right, about the chips? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so um, we have a bag of tortilla chips and we have hummus with us. Um, what else do we pack? Oh, I, we went to the farmer's market the other day and had some cher cherry tomatoes, so we threw those in the container. Um, what are some other things? Oh, we had some fruit snacks. Um, last time we went, no, not last time multiple times ago when we went to Sam's Club, we, I was hungry. We bought treats. <laughs> and one of the things was Mott's fruit snacks, which we really like the Mott's fruit snacks because they don't have artificial colors or artificial sweeteners, but they're really, really chewy and we don't really like the consistency of them. So this is the last time we're going to eat those fruit snacks, guys. I'll get different, different treats. Aw. And today we brought what? Oh yeah, and this morning I had a little time because we were still, um, this guy needed a shower. Why does it take us extra long to get you a shower right now? Because I broke my arm. Yeah, he broke his arm and he's in the splint brace thing. Um, we can take it off for his showers, but it takes a little bit because we have to take we have to take it off, carefully do the shower so we don't re-injure the arm, and then we have to let the skin dry before we put the brace back on. So I had a little extra time this morning. 
So I mixed up some muffins. Um, and so we brought a batch of muffins with us. So we're gonna be out for a good portion of the day. And we, um, it costs a lot more when you stop at the store hoping to be able to get something and then you go in and you can't find the thing you're looking for and you just get frustrated and then you buy something else and it's not what you wanted and all of that. I'd rather, even if it's not exactly what I would want to pack, if I pack a bunch of snacks for the kids, the kids are satisfied because we're out doing something fun and they're gonna stop long enough because their belly's hungry to put some food in it, but they're not really going to care as much what that food is. Does that make sense? Um, what, did you wanna say something? I like any food. You do, you pretty much like any food. Guys, what are some other things that we sometimes pack when we go places? Oh, hold on, the other day when we went to the store, because I had to be in the store anyway and we walked through the store to get the sale items, we did find, marked down bread. Um, we usually make our bread and I've been making videos about that, but I found some marked down bread and they had marked down deli meat. Um, which we don't buy super often just because I find it costs a lot of money to feed our family. But they had, it was like 30% off because it was getting close to date. So you can take deli meat and throw it directly in the freezer too. So I didn't bring that today, but you can easily take the deli meat out of the freezer, put it in your cooler bag and it'll be still cold. Like it'll be thawed, but cold at lunchtime. And you can eat deli meat on bread that you may have at the house, but you can also just eat it on crackers or just kind of roll it up um, maybe with cheese or whatever and eat it with the side of pretzels or crackers or chips or whatever. Yeah? And the other day when we went to the store, we had sandwiches with lunch. We did. Um, Abigail's raising her hand like she's in public school. Yes? We do wraps sometimes. We do yeah. wraps sometimes? Yes. That's another thing. <laughs> What, what'd you say? I didn't say anything. You, you did, you did. Oh, He's wrapping in the front seat. You said we did wraps. Okay, so we do wraps. Yeah. So we'll just take tortillas and you can do um, meat and cheese in those and what, Samuel? And trail mix. Oh yes, we make trail mix sometimes. So if we have some yeah. random um, pretzels or cereal or um, we'll put cranberries and nuts and sometimes chocolate chips. Just kind of depends what we have in the house. That's that's really good. Um, also on the wraps, what we've done before is if you take a wrap and you spread, you can do peanut butter and jelly on it, or if you spread some peanut butter and really thin cut apples on top, those are really yummy. They're really yummy if you spread Nutella and then put some apples. Oh, you have to smear, smear it on top. And what? And make apple sandwiches. Yeah, they like apple wraps. That's something we do occasionally. Um, our church has a breakfast on Sunday mornings, but breakfast isn't until nine, and we're used to eating around 7.30 or eight, so it's just a little too long for especially the little kids. The older kids could wait, but I don't make them. Um, <laughs> but um, especially for the little kids. So that is something we sometimes do for breakfast is we'll take tortillas and we either do peanut butter and apple in them or we'll do just a little bit of cheese and make a quick quesadilla and that's enough to tide people over till breakfast. And you're doing what? Oh, oh, he's got the binoculars. Don't hit anybody with them. We don't do it all the time, but today we're bringing muffins. Yep, today we brought muffins. We made, um, actually we had blueberry muffins for breakfast and we're making orange um, cranberry muffins. And if you want a different kind of muffin to make, Abigail, what kind of muffin did you make yesterday? Um, On the video. Oh, I made jelly muffins. Yep, so if you haven't seen that video, there's another kind of muffin you can make. What do you want to say? And those muffins that Abigail made were really good. And they were really good, weren't they? Okay, so um, let me think. Are there other things, Naomi, that we pack that I haven't said? Um, did you say string cheese? Yep, string cheese. Um, if you have any leftover meat, oh, that's something we pack depending on where we're going. So if we are going somewhere where we have a little more, um, we want a little fuller meal than just snacky lunch, sometimes we will make like a pasta salad that we'll put chicken or cheese in um, with vegetables. And if you are, gluten-free, you can make that also without um, the pasta. You can just put the chicken and cheese and vegetables and whatever salad dressing you're gonna use on top of it. Um, oh yeah, you can put beans in it too. That's really good if you're making like a taco version of it. We also put it in tortillas. 
tortillas. You can put that in tortillas. Yeah, we've done that before. You also bring crackers or chips or pretzels or any of Little. those kind of things. Yeah. If you didn't mention those earlier. Hold on, there's whispering going on back there. Don't put it in your mouth, Gideon. Okay? Out of your mouth? Okay, you can put it near your mouth, but not in your mouth. Okay, um, so yeah, we like to make those types of salads. And yes, that chicken salad, if you don't put pasta in it, the chicken salad in a wrap is really yummy, or you could eat it with crackers. Um, so, what? Pasta salad. Pasta salad. Oh, and then, oh, another way to keep costs down. Where's the, oh, there it is. I don't know. Another way to keep costs down, I have to re replenish this box. But we have a box in the car. I run out of some stuff because we recently had guests come with us and we were doing some picnics and stuff like that. But this box, I keep spoons, forks, plastic sandwich baggies, which the other day we actually, um, we left the house really quick. Um, this was like an unplanned trip and I knew we were gonna need a snack at one point. So we took a bag of pretzels and some cram uh, raisins and nuts, and maybe some chocolate chips, you think so? No chocolate chips that day? Okay, no chocolate chips that day. And <laughs> Naomi's like, no, there was no chocolate. Um, and so with the baggies, I was able to just portion out a handful of each of those things, make a little trail mix in each baggie and then each person had their own. Also what I usually keep in this, which isn't in here right now, is at Sam's Club you can buy hot dog trays. Um, you know, like you get a hot dog at the fair or whatever. Um, they do not hold liquid well, so you don't wanna serve liquid in them. But if you're serving like the pasta salad or if you're serving like, um, yeah, a little liquid's okay, but not much. So like sometimes we'll stop at the store. Um, again, if you're stopping at the grocery store to grab stuff, having this box is really handy because you can buy things that um, need a plate or whatever. So if I have those hot dog wrappers in here, I can get like grapes and cheese and crackers and portion out everybody's into a little tray and they can hold it on their lap. Um, that works really well. And also spoons work marvelously for spreading peanut butter or jelly. You don't need a knife, this works fine. And a fork, the other day when we stopped at the store, Oh, hold on, she's gonna be slaloming for a minute. They're doing um, construction in this town. So there's no construction going on, but all of them, oh wow, that's really tall. All of the um, manhole covers are like this high above the pavement. We don't wanna break our tires. So if you see her swerving, that's why. Um, she really is a good driver. <laughs> um, a fork works well also when we went, stopped at the store the other day and we bought the bread, it wasn't cut and we were able to, like it was like, hoagie rolls we were able to use the forks to break the bread open um so also in here you can keep those hot dog trays if you keep plastic cups um which again is something i have to restock in here um then you can use those either to put a snack in to hand back to people or you can use it for a drink if you're stopping at the store to grab something um drinks are expensive nowadays i mean if you stop at the store um like if you stop at a gas station and you're willing to share with other people you could get like the big 42 ounce fountain drinks if you guys drink those things um we do occasionally but um I don't always want to give the kids soda so sometimes if we're stopping like at the store to grab things I can grab like a half gallon of juice or chocolate milk or something like that and then I can pour it in cups here in the car um also keeping a roll of paper towels or napkins or something like that in the car is very beneficial so that you can have an easy meal um if you're grabbing something while you're out um even if you're stopping at a fast food place or things like that the hot dog trays are very useful if you were going to get like a burger and fries for people because i don't get kids happy meals when we go places like that it's very expensive we don't go very often, but when we do, we will tend to get some type of deal that's going on. Um, so maybe you get multiple, like a burger per person and you get two large fries for everybody to share. If you have those hot dog trays, you can give the little kids their food instead of on the paper wrapper, you can give them in a little bowl that then is easier to hold on to. Um, are there more things? Oh, also you could get the little plastic, um, what are they called? Like the bathroom cups you would use for like swishing or whatever, they're like three ounces. Those can be helpful if you're handing out a small portion of snack, like Dixie cups. 
Dixie cups, thank you. If you're handing out a small portion of snack, like um, almonds or something like that, you can put those in there. So I think that is all we're getting towards our place. And I just wanted to let you guys know um, that some of the ways that we save on money. What are yes. things that you like to grab for a quick meal for your family? What? We brought chips. We brought chips, we did. We brought tortilla chips, right? Yeah, okay, so we will see you guys next time on Herding Little Cows to the Glory of God. Bye.